Most of the AI stuff that I've talked about on here so far were basically just toys, glorified chatbots, glorified Google searches, but DARPA is sponsoring a new project that could either greatly increase the security of old and future code bases or put developers into an absolute mess for decades that are going to make maintaining human-generated spaghetti code feel like a breeze in comparison. The name of this project is Tractor, which stands for Translating All C to Rust. And the idea for this program was born out of the fact that a majority of major security vulnerabilities that get discovered in different software projects are the result of memory issues that for the most part wouldn't even exist in the first place if these programs were written in a memory safe language like Rust. And as far as memory safe languages go, Rust is really the only alternative that can keep up with a lot of C and C++ programs that need to be really fast and have low level functionality when it's needed. So this is why we're starting to see governments, militaries, and other high security organizations really start paying attention to Rust. And DARPA is also putting a lot of money into AI-driven cybersecurity and code review, or at least this would be considered a lot of money anywhere outside of the United States' defense budget. I'm sure that the $14 million that they divided up to seven different teams for this AI challenge is really just pennies to DARPA. So basically, the challenge that they hosted at DEF CON's AI Cyber Challenge was to give teams different code bases without anything else to go on besides the code to analyze and see if they can use AI tools to find and patch vulnerabilities in those code bases. And when you combine this interest in AI, LLM tools, and Rust, you get Tractor. Now, most people who have messed around with other AI tools know that while they are pretty good at generating artwork, voices, or somewhat coherent text, the product is only partially coherent, especially with AI models that have been fed a lot of garbage. Part of the problem with LLMs like ChatGPT is that they've been trained on all of the nonsense that gets posted to Stack Overflow, Quora, Yahoo Answers, etc., which is why it gives you a lot of silly answers to questions that you ask it. And with the software generation LLMs that I've seen, they're mostly trained on code that's coming from GitHub and other public sources that don't have any real barrier to entry for people that want to post their code there. All you have to do is make a GitHub account with an email address, and then you can crap out some buggy code for the rest of the world to see. The AI that gets trained on that code is going to produce software horrors beyond man's wildest imaginations. Now, it is possible to cherry pick training data for these large language models and different kinds of AI. Tesla's full self-driving model, for example, was trained on less than 1% of the stopping data that was produced by Tesla's drivers. And the reason is because most people don't ever come to a complete stop at stop signs or stop lights when they're making a right-hand turn and no traffic is coming from the road that's perpendicular to them. They just cruise through at a very slow speed. But for the AI to be compliant with traffic laws, Tesla had to make sure that it always comes to a complete stop. Now the software generation LLMs right now are kind of decent at generating small snippets of code, kind of like what you would get with a glorified LSP, but they lack the contextual awareness to create anything significant like a full stack application, an OS kernel, or anything that has a lot of moving parts in different APIs that have to communicate with one another. So the tractor would need to have a very strong understanding of both complex Rust code 
and complex C code to even really begin working. And then if the software actually does work, we're going to start to run into the question of ongoing maintenance. Because with Rust code especially, a lot of the code libraries are in their very early stages of development. And so breaking changes can easily occur with new releases of these crates. I actually experienced this with the Axum crate when it went from version 0.6 to 0.7. If Tractor really does end up working and converting C code to Rust code and the code actually works, at least somewhat works, then the DoD and others who use it to port code over will still have to hire Rust developers to maintain the code that's generated as those libraries are updated. And I can't even imagine how people are going to feel like the people that are going to college right now and possibly learning rust in their computer science courses about maintaining spaghetti code that's written by artificial intelligence like legacy code bases that were written decades ago are already archaic enough but those were at least produced by a fellow human programmer who is just like you, except the only difference is back in their day, they wore a suit and a tie while they were programming and you wear thigh high socks and cat ears. My gut tells me that the code that's gonna be produced by early iterations of this tractor LLM are gonna be very similar to code that's produced by mathematicians uh, or other non-computer scientists. And if you haven't experienced code written by these types of folks, you oftentimes end up with something that works, right? Like the code does work, but it's a jumbled mess that's in one single file. And it's gonna be very difficult for anyone to wrap their heads around. Even the person who produced the code oftentimes really doesn't understand how it works. They just know that it does work. But even if Tractor can produce working code and DARPA and other organizations can convince future CS grads to maintain code written by an LLM, I still don't see Tractor being used by the private industry that much. Because unfortunately, security incidents don't seem to have a big enough impact on the stock price and the performance of companies in order to make something like Tractor appealing to them. So this might just end up becoming another one of those projects that DARPA invests millions of dollars into that nobody really ends up using at the end of the day. But you guys should tell me what you think. Will Tractor bring an end to C's reign? Will future developers live in a world where they have to maintain code that's written by code? Let me know in the comments below. Like and share this video to hack the algorithm and check out my online store based.win for awesome merch like the come and find it hoodie or the tie-dye tour tee. 10% discount store wide when you pay a Monero XMR. Have a great rest of your day.